Okay, I'm Claire McLaughlin. I am an Associate Professor in Early Years Education at the Massey University College of Education. It probably is a global thing, but there is a, there is a distinct point in time at which you can see that it happened in New Zealand. And New Zealand happened in, in 1985, so it's happened, if you like, within the period of my, um, my study. Um, and why it happened was that, that up till 1985, only the kindergartens in New Zealand were directed by the Ministry of Education, or what in those days was the Department of Education. And in 1985, they shifted all childcare centres who had been previously under the Department of Social Welfare under the mandate of the Department of Education. And if you like, from there, um, this notion of, of early childhood care and education kind of coming together, because previously it had been about education or it had been about care. The two didn't come together. So there is quite a distinct timing, if you like, um, within New Zealand history for that term. I really did fall into it. Um, I had children quite young and I got involved with Play Centre, which is a parent cooperative um, for um, typically mothers with young children. And well, it was mainly mothers when I was young. And I got very interested in young children and their learning. I had been doing, at the time, um, a BA in English and Education. And so the, the early childhood education, though it didn't have that name in those days, that's a new invention. Uh, and the education gelled really well. Um, I got the opportunity um, after I finished my bachelor's degree to become a graduate assistant in education and they basically they paid for me to teach and for me to do my master's degree and at the end of that I got an assistant lectureship where the university paid for me to do a PhD and to teach as well. So I, I kind of did fall into it. Well it's crucial actually, I mean you've got You've got young children, you've got a, um, a new baby on the way. I don't know if you're, um, your partner works, but if she does and you've got a new baby, what are you going to do? You know, I mean, it's something which is absolutely fundamental now. You know, Helen Clark, when she was here, went on about how she couldn't see any reason why a woman wouldn't work. Well, that's a quite, quite a major shift, actually, in societal attitude, isn't it? And, and I, don't, I don't hold a hard and fast understanding. You know, I don't actually believe that you know, you're a terrible mother if you go back to work or you're a terrible mother if you stay home. You know, I think actually every, every woman makes their own choice about what suits them. And fortunately, we've got the opportunity to make that choice now, whereas, you know, my mother never had that, mm. that opportunity. But if you are a working parent, then you want to know that your precious baby is, or precious toddler is in a, um, is in a good place, has people who know what they're doing, looking after that child and that you don't have to be stressed you don't have to be stressed about them while you're at work so and given the you know given the cost of living now there's not many families that can afford to be a single income family so if you've got to have your children in childcare actually you want to know that they're um they're being really well being really well cared for and that they work they're with professionals and i think that's a major it's a major societal society change i think more than anything else